Mayor Eric Adams's assertion that the federal government is targeting him for prosecution taps into broader fears of government overreach, corruption, and the weaponization of investigations against political adversaries. By stressing the need for accountability in governance, he frames the misuse of federal authority as a direct threat to personal liberties. His claim that he's being singled out for standing his ground critiques a system that, in his view, punishes dissent or resistance to policy. My fellow New Yorkers, it is now my belief that the federal government intends to charge me with crimes. If so, these charges will be entirely false based on lies. But they would not be surprising. I always knew that if I stood my ground, all of you, that I would be a target. And a target I became. For months, leaks and rumors have been aimed at me in an attempt to undermine my credibility and paint me at This past week, they searched the home of our new police commissioner looking for documents from 20 years ago, just one week after he joined my administration. Enough. I will fight these injustices with every ounce of my strength and my spirit. Adams' stance that he's become a target resonates with the idea that politicians who advocate for the people or challenge entrenched systems are often unfairly vilified. His declaration of innocence and resolve to fight the accusations reflects not just his personal commitment to overcoming obstacles, but also evokes a deeper narrative of resilience. Yet, this situation also invites skepticism about the political landscape. Could Adams' statements be viewed as a defensive maneuver, or are they a genuine call for justice in a system prone to corruption? This tension raises the need for a thorough investigation to balance accountability with the protection of individuals from politically motivated attacks. By labeling the accusations as lies, Adams crafts a narrative of victimization, positioning himself as being unjustly persecuted by federal powers. This framing naturally stirs a psychological instinct for self-preservation and reputation defense, especially when legal consequences loom. Simultaneously, he seeks to bolster his image in public trust insisting on his innocence. His rhetoric aims to rally sympathy and support, particularly from New Yorkers, portraying himself as a champion fighting on their behalf. His language is calculated to tap into a sense of shared struggle, fostering connection and solidarity among his audience.